It's so hard. Because your camera is all the way there. Because your screen You want to switch here. places? No, it's okay. Okay, you can do this. I believe mm-hmm. in you. Gawin mo naman sa camera. It's your light. Para pa sa akin. Gawin mo naman yung main light. Is this couple therapy? Joke. <laughs> this is the closest that we can get to it. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Alright, so, hey everyone. Welcome to another episode of Pen. No! Yeah, you say no. it. You're in. Good job. I'm Ryan, and together with me, you would notice that Jika is speaking with another person in her room. Yes. <laughs> Jika. Jika. And? Polo. Polo. Follow oh. our special guest is actually live with me in this domicile. Yeah. In this area. And he is my boyfriend. Jika's significant other. Significant other. Joa. Son of all my Joa. <laughs> okay, so everyone, welcome to another episode of Penub's podcast. And um for today's episode, we're going to have a Valentine's Day special. Well, we're not sure if this is going to be released on Valentine's Day, but this is themed after Valentine's, a very consumeristic holiday, which isn't really a non-working holiday, but it's a holiday for people to make pretend that they're happy. Grabe. <laughs> or if they have a, they're in a relationship and they will feel miserable if they're not. <laughs> That's why okay, we're in black. And we're wearing red. We're wearing red. We did not oh, plan no, this. We plan didn't plan this. We didn't plan it. So. Yeah, we did not plan this. But I guess it was in, it was, um, what do they call it in psychology? It was uh, meant to be communal. And then it's like that? Serendipitous. That's know. not psychological. Yeah, sorry. I don't know. It's Either way. Yeah, it was very serendipitous because I'm wearing black um, to celebrate celibacy and um, the death of one's wow. desire to be in a relationship <laughs> while Jika and Polu are wearing red to celebrate um, the relationship that they have. So Jika and Polu, how many years have you been in a relationship? <laughs> I hate it. It's like I'm the one who volunteered us for this, but mm-hmm. now. You want me to answer? Yeah, five you can years. answer. Five We've been years, together yeah. for five years. Five years. Five years. Wow. And it feels every bit of those five years, I think. <laughs> it doesn't feel short and it doesn't feel long. Ah. It feels exactly like five years. Oh, yeah. I wonder how that feels like. The only Ooh, thing right. I can think about for five years is like grad school. Five years. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Oh my God. Yeah, we've been together for five years. We've been into fountain pens. He's been into fountain pens for? Uh, around the same uh, four years. Three, four years. You're three like a year years. ahead of me. I think three years or four years. I'm not sure. Yeah. And we're here to talk about our fountain pen. Love, <laughs> life, alongside. You know that we have the first part of this. Are we going to do pen hoops today? Yeah, sure, totally. We can do pen noobs. I mean pen noobs. I'm so- sorry, noob discoveries. I'm kind of like- um, noob discovery. Noob discovery. <laughs> this is us restarting. <laughs> from- Wait, I can hear you. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do the noob discovery segment, but we just wanted to, you know, um introduce our guests first and pretty much give everyone the context as to what the conversation will be about. Because probably you'd be surprised if we have a guest who's in Jika's house and in Jika's room, where usually when we have a guest, that person is not there. So maybe you just want to, you know, we just want to make things very clear. And we also want to make things very clear. That's the reason why I'm wearing black. And that's the reason why I'm wearing red. Right. And I'm just kidding. Again, it's very simple. <laughs> because, okay, so now let's proceed with our new discoveries. Where in I have nothing yet as of this time. And so I'll ask our guest first to start. So, Paulu, thank you for being here. Would you like to share your new discovery? Do you have a new discovery? New discovery. Let me, uh, 
stationary related? Stationary. It can also be related to your art practice. Um, fountain pen related, ink related. If you want to talk about, say, the inks that you use in creating your work, I think that's a new discovery for other people. Uh, I don't know. I'm not... Uh, new discovery. Recent. Something recent. Yeah, something recent. There's something you think that the audience will appreciate to know. Uh, usually, because I use... I use... You want me to hold it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> usually, I use... Uh, I use inks and fountain pens primarily for painting. Parang it's my first... It's the first step of my process before I paint. I use it for lines first. And then, it took me a while to find talagang waterproof, waterproof um, fountain pen ink. It's, it has to be super waterproof. Because eh? there are some that are, they, they, they say that they're waterproof. Like, I'll give an example. Um, yung Kiwaguro. Is it called Kiwaguro? The sailor, sailor. The sailor. It's, they say it's waterproof. But if with with watercolor, kasi you ano yata natatad bunong water, eh. yeah. so it really can't it can't it can't take a brush uh, tal- uh what's the, what's poking, the at poking at it it can't take scraping eh. so it's really gonna run eh. it won't last it eh. the only ink that I found that really lasts talaga and really stands up to any kind of like water abuse is platinum all the platinum the three three speci- uh four four specific platinum inks the carbon black the pigment blue the rose red and the bronze sepia those four so you know i think that's a big discovery that i made because after that i would always use ano na, i would always use that specific ink when painting and i'd be confident i'd be confident using it see you mahirap eh you work so hard at it and then suddenly it doesn't work that's like the worst thing. So, yun, I think if anyone wants to try to paint with watercolor and wants to like have like outlines, the best thing to go for is platinum inks, platinum pigment. Pigment ink? Pigment yeah, inks. Pigment ink, yeah. carbon ink. That's what we use. Yeah, that's my, pe- what do you call it? Noob, noob, noob discovery. discovery. Yeah. Beautiful. Actually, now it's a new discovery for me also because I've been rooting for the the Sailor Black ink. Um. I've been looking for another black permanent ink. I've been using the, I'm, I'm sure you guys have heard already in the podcast, I've been using the Diatramenches uh, black ink. Mm-hmm. And then I bought a, um, a Mont Blanc permanent black, but it isn't as permanent as how I would want it to be. Actually, I don't like the ink. Sorry, Mont Blanc, but yeah, I don't <laughs> like the ink. But there, that's a good discovery for me also. Thanks for sharing about that ink. And speaking of those inks, it's actually available in Palenque. <laughs> I remember sharing Jika. Oh, yeah. He ah. shared it. He, he shared it, I think, sometime today or yesterday. There's mm. like this big box and it's just filled full of carbon ink. So mm. it's especially useful for people who paint because a lot of people, when they paint or make their artworks, they usually use, what do they call this, micron? Because micron felt tip pens. Because those are experience yeah, you haven't experienced that. Because you know, fountain pens are the draw. Um, but most people on the internet, on TikTok and on Instagram, they use those micron pens by Sakura or something like that, and it's immediately waterproof. But it is felt tip. So thank you. <laughs> so Paulu, because he is a fountain pen aficionado, he's always been using. He's always used carbon black and all of that. Yeah. So. He's an artist. So, Jika, what's your new discovery? My new discovery relates to... Well, I mean, it's not new for you, but it's new for me because I I think I'm going to be a Pelican convert now. Like, how dare you? Pelican. (laughs) So, my birthday pen was... Sorry. sorry. Ah, ah. My birthday... was the Cafe Creme which you yourself have and a lot of our um, audiences have. But it is <laughs> but it is my first Pelican and I think that it will be the true blue numero uno. Um, I did, it, it's a very great writing experience, I realized. And the nib, even though it's steel, really, it brings me joy. I think... Can you show them the... No? Have they seen the... Yes, it's... <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, it's on Instagram. I did show our audiences the pen and the nib. Um, the thing is that um, one of my discoveries, aside from the pen itself and the pleasurable writing experience, is that since my last pen, my January pen was a Sailor Hard EF in my 1911. Um, I showed you samples, right, when we were chatting online. Um, the size yeah. of the Pelican EF when on paper, is very similar to the size of the Sailor Hard EF. And I'm kind of... Is it just me? Is a Hard EF really as thick as a Pelican, a Western EF? And I'll put samples on our page, on our Instagram, but like, I just want to know people's experiences because as per my discovery, they're practically the same in nib size. Strange. Strange. strange, yeah. Very strange. Although when you showed to me the the sample, I think it's more of the sailor, which isn't as accurate. I think our pelicans, both our EFs, had the same, um, I don't know, line width when I compared it. But the sailor seems to be a bit thick. I'm not really sure why. I know, right? I just want to figure it out. It's another mystery that we have to unpack. But for now, it's your turn, Ryan. New oh my gosh. But thank you guys for taking the first two rounds. I was able <laughs> to think about <laughs> a new discovery. No, no, no. I'm just kidding. Well, um, it's not really a discovery, but it's a new product I do want to share with everyone. I, mm-hmm. In case you're wondering who purchased the, uh, the Troublemaker Scribe uh, Jim Weaver Tarshir ink. It's me. So oh, wow. I was I wanted to see it. Is it the shimmer yeah, ink? What are its no, qualities? It's, it's shading, but also it has sheen. But I barely notice the sheen. It's really more about shading because I guess the colors are brown and green. So it's predominantly brown uh, with a mix of green. Um, when it does a bit of shading, it's a mix of green or the sheening also is a bit of green so there Gosh. what was the freebie and like is there still stock i'm not sure if there are still stocks but um i did get it from from analog shangri-la oh. so shangri-la from analog in shangri-la um, they know how so well how to ane, how to boodle me. I was just planning to buy a Midori lined notebook. <laughs> and then <laughs> the person on Viber told me na, oh sir, we have the the new troublemaker ink. It's the Tarshir one. Would you like to get one? I'm like, oh, okay, I can get it today. So that's a plus for me. <laughs> so yeah. It comes with this um, cloth. Mm. Yeah, this is quite cute. To wipe your pens and your glasses with. I know. Mean, cute niya. So I'm like, I don't want to use it with something na my ink. So That's obviously, cute. I don't want to stain this because it's so cute. Diba? Yes. So there. So that's, that's the freebie. This is the Jim, Jim Weaver um, pen cloth that comes with the, the ink. So there. It's actually nice. It's a nice ink. It's my new favorite ink to pair with my Pilot Custom A23. Yes. Oh, and the sheening in the like, what do you call it? Multi-chrome aspect. It appears despite the fine nib of the Pilot A23. Yes. Yes, it does. But um, ideally use it on a Tomo- Tomoe River paper that's thin. Um, my journal is the take a note and it's kind of thicker, but still I get to see the shading. But in terms of like sheening, it's not really that predominant. You really have to like use a glass pen and then spread the, the ink for you to ah. appreciate. Okay, I get it. Well, no more chance of getting it for us. It reminds you of Tsukuji. Tsukiji? Tsuku, the horse tail ng ano, ng... Hiroshizuku. Hiroshi, Hiroshizuku. Oh, the pilot. Uh, it, oh, they seem is... similar. Parang reddish brown rin siya, di ba? But the sheening and the shading. Walang, there's no sheening. There's no, there's little, no shading. There's no sheen. You. There's no sheening or shading. But the color is similar. I'll ask you for samples. Samples. At least. Yeah, alam niyo naman ako, I'm, I'm very, 
I'm very gullible when it comes to inks that have shading. Like if it's like, oh, look at that blue. It's a mix of different radiants of blue or gradients of like shade. That's true. Yeah. Please get the carbon inks. They shade quite well as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm I, but I'm also trying trying to limit my purchase, but because you know, I might end up just selling them again. <laughs> I have to move places. Anyways, not gonna disclose much about that. Yes, not <laughs> yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, so at this point, we're now going to the interview portion of our episode. So as you know, this is a Valentine's-themed episode, and I'll be the person to be asking questions because, you know, you're single, you, you got to be the one to do all the asking, and you got to <laughs> ask those with a with partner. Sorry. So they're not, not bitter, guys. I'm not bitter. I just came from a relationship, and um, so there. It is what it is. We make life choices. So there you have it. Um, let's now proceed to the questions and less about me and more about them. Okay, so um, Jika and Polu, let's talk about stationaries first. So I wanted to like dig into this whole being a couple and being interested in stationaries because maybe for some people, who have been in a relationship, they would have wanted to have a partner who's actually interested in stationaries, but they're not. Mm. It's not me. I'm, I'm not talking about myself. Or maybe I could be. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But like, what role do stationaries play in your relationship? I do want to know like, what, 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 does the, what do stationaries contribute to like your relationship? You're the start. You started all of this. Uh, I can talk about how uh, the first time I found it was super random. Eh? The first time I ever what encountered, I think encountered a fountain pen. Yeah. I was with Jika. We were in Mega Mall. And sure this was ano nga, mga three or four years four, ago, years ago na, eh? Four years, years ago. ago, we were in Mega Mall. And that was the time I was ano um, splurging a lot, <laughs> splurging a lot, galit. <laughs> I was purging a lot. And then randomly, parang, ah, we were both, um, we both came from work. Tapos, we passed by, passed by Scribe. Tapos, I was with Jika na. Tapos, I'm like, oh, what look? I like to, ano, I like to window shop. Eh. So, I looked at the window display of Scribe. Then, I saw a, a Twisby Echo na demonstrator. So, I was so amazed. I was so amazed talaga. Yung itsura niya. Kasi, syempre, if you have never seen fountain pens, or if you've never encountered fountain pens prior to ano, what, what we know now, what we see now, yung itsura ng twist B eco na demonstrator, it seems so amazing. It, you, it's something that you rarely see. Eh. It's, not something, it's not something that I ever saw prior to that point. So I went inside. I was thinking na nga, kasi itsura pa lang niya, it looked expensive. So I, asked, Shucks, I can't afford this. So I, asked the, ano, I asked the salesperson, oh, how much is it? That she said this, uh, no, um, how much is it to be equal? Uh, one thousand two one or one nine? Oh, I, cheaper. No, cheaper, ba? One six, one I think four. it's around one six. So one six. So share price, but one six sold. Because in my brain, in my brain, I was expecting like seven thousand. Eh. So sold one six. Go. And she used to be super mad. Galit to galit. Because, <laughs> para you keep spending. How much did you spend this month? And then you're gonna add to it, pa, with this random purchase. And it's well, what is it? It's just a pen. A random, you don't care about pens, and then suddenly you'll buy, you'll buy a pen. Suddenly you'll become ano? Oh my Dude, God! That's the first time. Four years later. Four she years later. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she was so mad. But yeah, I remember that. I was really, really mad. So eh, the question was essentially, what role do stationary play in your relationship? It played not a great role at the start. Yeah, mainly, it did not play a great role in the start. Mainly because it was like a signal of his splurging. Splur- <laughs> at the yeah. time. Like, it wasn't only... At my, ano, my therapy, because I wasn't painting yet. I wasn't doing it. Parang my, my, my primary, primary, primary form of, of therapy was... Shopping. Shopping. <laughs> Shopping. <laughs> Shopping. Yeah. So I guess this factors in like, you know, I think we were at the same place as well, wherein we were kind of getting burnt out to a certain extent. We were trying to look for escapes from 
um, the job. Yeah, but the jobs. Yeah, had, but the jobs that we had, and we were really just seeking comfort. I I looked for comfort not in stationery. He did, but who knew that later on the Twisby and eventually like the Hobonichi. He he even he even got his Hobonichi first before I did. Um, all of it would lead to yeah, this. That's yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. He's he's the start of the whole relationship with stationery and fountain pen. So thank you. Who would have thought? No, I, I didn't I like, expect na, na you would like it also years later. But it took you years, eh? You didn't much immediate, eh? Even up until we went to when we went when we went to Europe, Europe. I won't eh? He still didn't want me to go. And that was just two years ago. So it took like, siguro it took almost two, more than two years before you also decided, ah, para maganda rin pala ang kaka. You're okay, making me it. sound less credible. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Pero yeah. yeah. I do think the pandemic really uh, motivated a lot of people to channel their their needs and wants from some from things that are, I don't know, like clothes mm-hmm. to something more intricate something more something they can see at home which can still define their personality uh, that that's what i notice eh? most people have spent most of their money when you know pre pandemic it's usually buying shoes bags clothes because you can wear it outside to express yourself but now that we're all stuck at home most of the time we need something else to kids to people and that would be Our tables, our desk, or other things. Some people okay, buy that. I thought of it that way. Our desk. Yeah, I don't even know why. That's that was just a theory. 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 It resonates with him because yeah, you do stare at your desk all day. Yeah, you don't want to go out and oh, how will you, who will you show your ano, know, diba? Yeah. How in your body, it's different. Uh, exactly. Yeah, so as we get to see, uh, Paulu was one of the early adopters. Well, GK and I were the the later ones, <laughs> but I'm far later because GK was already using fountain pens um, prior to the pandemic. I do remember getting your pencil case before, which had a pilot vanishing pen. I was like, oh, pick your first. That was my first high end one that I like really looked for. Where'd you buy that? France, right? Japan. Not Japan. Sorry, we, se- we seem so international right now. We're not. <laughs> one time, one time, one time, big time. <laughs> no, no, okay. Ever. <laughs> next question. You're ready. Oh, next question. So my next question now is, um, so we do talk a lot about fountain pens, stationaries, and inks. And I am interested, um, you know, being an English teacher, we like describing things and catching things with objects to encapsulate emotions or ideas and so i do want you guys to tell me what's a fountain pen in color that would best describe your relationship so cheesy Ooh, right you answer that first I i'm like curious to know the first ink no actually not the first ink that i stole from you because like everything is conjugal property anyway yeah, I, yeah. But no go later enough. I want to say that I think our um relationship is very much like that pickled ginger ink from was it Bungo Box? Pickled ginger. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. From, it was from uh, no, um Ishimaru Boon. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So he bought an Ishimaru Boon. It's pink. Um it's pickled ginger ink and it smells great. It smells exactly like ginger. It smells exactly <laughs> like the ginger that you add to your soy sauce when you're making your sushi. Um I think it's that. Not only because I really like the color, it's a really fresh color. I mean, of course, if you just swap the labels and say that it's like Sakura, it still works. Um, so it reminds me of fresh and young and mm-hmm. youthful, which we're not, but we try our wait, best wait. to be. Yeah, go on. <laughs> He's gonna do that. Um, but also because I like the notion of like it, it's also It also smells, so it's multidimensional. Okay, it's more complex than your typical ink. Um, it shades again, adding to that complexity. But also, it's pickled ginger. Like so everything answer. you yeah. like, my answer. Yeah. It's like Miss Universe. <laughs> What do you call this? The color reminds you of freshness, but the notion of pickling talks about how things get better with age. 
Oh, wow. I appreciate that. I appreciate your answer. Pinalig ka. Yes. Yeah. Kister. Ay, pa, syempre, my answer isn't as, as ano, I don't know how to answer that. Um, a color, a uh, ink color that what uh, reminds me of our relationship. That encapsulates, that encapsulates our relationship. Our relationship. Um, <laughs> no, may naisip ako, pero baka. <laughs> It's okay, I can cut it out. Go. Meron ako naisip. The ink color is an ink color that I personally, there are ink colors kasi that I personally really don't like. But that doesn't mean, but I'm choosing it not because I don't like Chica. <laughs> but there are ink colors kasi that aren't my preference and I don't use, which are yung super not saturated. The, the, the parang medyo, the pastel uh, ones? The pastel ones. Know. The pastel ones. Chica really likes those. I really don't like them. So I can't see them. Eh. I don't see them. Eh. To me, they're malabo. Eh. So, To me, that's what I feel and encapsulates our relationship. Because uh, um, maybe malabu kami sometimes. <laughs> maybe malabu kami sometimes. <laughs> but but it's always if you look closely. If you look closely, it's always there. You always see it. You an original person diba? getting symbols out of ginaya niya. That's so nice though. I mean, I like his answer better though. Sorry, Chica. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, because Honest. symbolically, it's more evident. It's like, it's more like out there like, oh, okay, I get it immediately. But yours is like, you know, it major. Yeah. That's true. It's I true. totally lit major the heck out of my example. So at least, yeah. You win. I agree. Thank you. Yeah. So in case you guys are wondering what color is mine, it's document black. Thank you. <laughs> it's permanent <laughs> and black. <laughs> okay, I'm just kid- kidding. So I just can't help but like answer some of the questions also because like they're so cheesy over Please the years. Oh, the questions are gold. Over the past few episodes we've had, we've always had very, you know, straightforward questions. But since we're as- I'm asking you, I can push the limit a little bit by asking you very cheesy That's questions. True. And also, we've done the pen meet. Like, all three of us are friends anyway. So this is just like us hanging out. Yeah. So there's that. Okay, third question third now. Third question. Okay, so now this is kind of difficult. The first one is about relationship. Now, this one is about the kind of love and affection you have for that person. So if your love for your partner can be described with a fountain pen or using a fountain pen, what fountain pen would that be? So Wait, can, be I, a... can I see? <laughs> I see. It's question number three. Be very specific. Like you can tell me the brand, you can tell me the color, you can tell me the model, you can tell me the nib size, you can tell me. Now it's a fountain pen. Whereas Kanina, it was an ink. Yeah, earlier it's an ink about your relationship, but this one is about how you feel about that about person. The per- ah, about Jika. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm, interesting. Your affection. Can you do me. it first? I have to do it first. No, no. Yeah, you have to do it first. I'm sorry. Uh... I am super enjoying this. <laughs> yeah, I'll be honest. Yeah, question. you can totally be honest. The thing is, I mean, part of this naman and us being put on here is not just to show that we're in a relationship but also to show that we're willing to be vulnerable and also strong in our relationship yeah, yeah come yeah. on I get it yeah we go to therapy um uh, siguro <laughs> go sorry you can do this What ink? I, ink? No, fountain, fountain pen. pen. Pick through your collection. There's the Rewa, there's the King of Pen, there's the Graf von Faber Castell. We will post pictures of his pen collection, which is way more expensive. No, it's not as expensive. No, no. I got my career. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bang na. Joke. <laughs> Sorry. It used to be more expensive than mine. Well, most of my fountain pens because they are music nibs. Eh. Mm. So... Uh, I guess siguro a music nib. I guess a music nib because that's what I one maybe I've had the most experience with. I've uh, tried other nibs in a month, but I feel like a music nib reminds me of Jika a lot. Because I maybe I'll go I'll, I'll elaborate more later. Because with music nibs, because 
when you draw with them, the reason why I like drawing with them, as opposed to brushes or other materials, you can, ano, it's unpredictable. It's unpredictable. Jika may like to to have this, um, to project an aura na, na she's uh, dependable, predictable, uh, yeah. even keel. But the reality, it's not so much the, that's not so much the reality. It's, I think, but that's not to say it's negative. Yeah, if exactly. any, it's actually a positive. Because when I draw it, when you draw it, if you, if anyone wants to try to draw with a music nib, it's very satisfying because you, you have to not so much think about the outcome. Because eh. it's always unpredictable. Eh. Because when you're drawing, now you're not the one thinking to twist around the pen eh, to to mm-hmm. adjust to adjust if you want a thin line or a thick line. You're, you're just going at it, and then when it's finished, ah, no, maganda pala. So, you know, maybe that's how I see Jika. Na, na maybe we fight, we have our arguments, we have our ups and downs in our relationship. Pero, uh, it's when I when I step back, when I step back and remove emotion and remove ano, maganda naman it's. Parang fun naman. Yeah. Fun naman. Abusive if you see it, complex. if you see it from afar. Yeah. Complex. It really is complex because like it depends on pressure, it depends on angle of your hand, of your arm, elbow even, diba? What we can even make sense out of all of that? Like how much pressure you put into stuff and then like in the relationship, yeah. how you... Well, oh. But you know, yeah, the less you think, the less I think about it, the better the outcome is. So it's the same thing. Yeah. Wala na. Yo. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Jika. Um, so wait, before we move on to that, you gotta tell them what your favorite music nib is or at least your music nib rotation. There are only, there are only a handful naman talaga of music nibs eh, that, that are easily accessible. Mm. Kasi syempre, the others are what, vintage and it's harder to find. mag effort pa. The easily accessible music nibs are only from Sailor and from Platinum. Platinum. I will. I prefer Sailor because they're softer. Eh. With Platinum, talaga nail hard yun eh. mm. It's really. It's like it does not. It will not bend. Yon. Mm. I prefer Sailor, but um, yon, I think there's a big difference between the two. And I think with Sailor and with music nibs, because in general, since the tipping is very big, even even music nibs. From Sailor, from the same like line, they're all different. If you buy like I, I have two Sailor. I've had three music nibs already from Sailor. Um, two pro, one pro gear, one pro gear slim, one. Pro gear is it the small one? Nineteen eleven. Nineteen eleven. So I have three. They're all completely different, despite being from more or less the same line from the same range. All completely different. None of them are the same. Oh, I thought you were gonna say something. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I'm ah. Uh, <laughs> Look at you stuttering like ah uh, ah. Uh, uh. My affection for my Joa, my boyfriend. Um, in essence, I like colorful pens. So if he's talking about the nibs, um, I think that um our relationship is most embodied by by the pens that I said I would buy for both of us, and I did. I did buy both of them, right? Yeah. And eventually, since they are conjugal property, he will get his grasp on it. Um, in essence, it's the millicolor line. So I bought the pink one and the blue one. Um, just thinking about him and myself, because I like to think that. I mean, I mean, we could go symbolic. Let's go symbolic, because that's where we already are. Um, the fact that it's very colorful and there's a gradient of sorts is really, I think, representative of how complex um, we as people really are. Oh my God, she's answer. You like my answer? <laughs> What do you call this? If you look at the pink one and the blue one, are they both here? Yeah, they're both here. Um, oh, sure. Yeah. yeah, and Ryan has the same pen, by the way. So it's like he's also my partner. <laughs> there's that. But... Um, people have seen these, but if you look at the millicolors, I pr- correct my pronunciation, internet, but focus, do the hand. Thank you. There, beautiful. All right. So I bought these like a month apart from each other, and 
I like the fact that it's colorful, that there are different shades of the colors that are available, and they're representative of both of us individually, but also both of us together. I mean, we look different. Clearly, he's six feet tall. I'm <laughs> 4'11". Um, we don't look alike. Um, a lot of the way that we live our lives, really, and our ethos about going about our lives is love very language. different. Our love languages are very different as well. But at the end of the day, if you look at your pens, they pretty much match up despite how difficult and... Mm. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. That's my answer. Milica Loreline. Okay, this round for Jika. Jika wins this round. Ah, <laughs> uh, me grade pala. There's a grade. I, like it, I, like it. I yeah. can't believe I'm making you guys compete over the answer. <laughs> we rarely ever compete, so we're ready. Yeah. Throw okay. it at us. All right. So the the next question I have to ask would be, I think you've pretty much answered this already. So I'm gonna change the question up a bit. Okay. So I was supposed to ask you guys if do you think that your fountain pens are mutually or are mutual or exclusive properties. And pretty much it's kind of clear that it's pretty much conjugal or mutual yes. properties. But I do want to ask you, if ever, um, if ever there's one fountain pen that you're going to acquire, what pen would that be which you will never be willing to lend or to share with your partner? Like for like lend to touch or like a lend to like carry around without you seeing. Like, oh, can I borrow this? I'll just use it at work. Yeah. Like just cannot. You can't you can't touch it. Like I, I'm not gonna even use it. I'm just gonna put it in a case and like never <laughs> touch it mm. as well. I don't think I wouldn't lend him my pilot custom machine. I would. But like if you if you're going on like a trip. Yeah. For a month, that's not gonna happen. For an extended period, if you're going with a grill, I'm not letting it happen just because insurance. And how would you call it? Um, no, I understand. You understand? No, because I also wouldn't lend you. Wouldn't lend <laughs> yes. you my my grill is the the Sailor Cross Music. Ah, yeah. Cross Music nib, and Jika has have very heavy hands. So every time she uses she, her handwriting, it's like it's there's such a weight to her handwriting. <laughs> nah, the, the, the writing shows up four pages after. Yeah. Four pages after the page she wrote on. Super liable. And me, but like that, we're very opposite. I just write to the weight, to the exact weight of the pen. I have no weight at all in writing. Yeah. And if she if she uses any nib, any music nib of mine, wala na, in one in one page, yeah. it would write so differently, I'm sure. But it, when, when it comes back to me. Yeah. When he got his king of pen, he wouldn't let, like, I'd insist no, no, no. to use it. And then it's I'd so really to watch press the flex. down. Because I'm to like, hey, it's so soft. It flexes. And then I'm just, like, really happy. And then he's in pain. Cringe, cringe. Yeah. That's his, that's his issue. It's about the nib. Mine is about the body of the pen. Pain. I'm not going to lend you the custom Arushi because if you drop it, Mm. It, it like and you're far away. We we won't be able yeah. to heal it easily. So there is that. But yeah, we at least respect that. We can touch it within the same vicinity. We can use it within the same vicinity. But we're not going to uh, for extended periods. Also, he hates yeah. it. I sat down on one of his ink boxes. Ah uh, yeah, grab it. You know what happened one time, Ryan? I'm grab it, talaga. As in, when ano kasi sends you? If you buy an ink from the specific shop in Japan. Through uh, you buy it because through a uh, proxy because I used White Rabbit yata. Yeah. So I used White Rabbit proxy. Usually that's as good as buying it from the specific shop. Eh. And with this a shop, it's like a small shop lang from I don't remember in like, not Nagasaki, parang but some Japanese oh, ano province. Is this a so the they pen? were so no, no 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 no. So they were so careful in packaging it that they separated it pa. They, parang they had the ink bottle on one side. Tapos they had the box of the ink, like folded, like folded flat, na never never unfolded, like straight from straight from production. So it's like in pristine condition. Tapos I assembled it, I assembled it, it's perfect perfect box. Then she sat on it. I'm so mad, <laughs> I'm so mad, I'm so yeah. careful with it. Oh. 
Tapos wala na. Tapos I, mean, I, I kept I kept making pa rin like, the whole night. Na, I was so careful with it for like weeks and weeks. I was so precious <laughs> with it. Yeah. And they were so pre- I, was, I was so mad kasi the people that prepared it in the shop were also so precious with taking care of the box. <laughs> And then you could have looked, you could have looked one lang. Yeah, I'm very heavy-handed and uh, I, I don't really... Yeah, but I got over yeah. it man, in a month after that. After that. So yeah, this is an example of why he is this pen and why I am this pen. Amen. Amen. Trauma yun, I remember the trailer. <laughs> Trauma. <laughs> I like how this episode is <laughs> booking. I'm still, <laughs> still a little sad about that. Eh. <laughs> We can talk about it some more in the coming days. We can process that feeling. <laughs> Your feelings are valid. <laughs> Not the name of the shop, pero... It's okay. Next time. We have to answer okay. more questions. Go. I think I'm, I end up triggering a lot of memories. Good <laughs> <or not. laughs> okay. Fifth question. Um, so, it's Valentine's. We're, we're recording this. Um... days before valentine's day um but maybe it could be released on valentine's day but now's the perfect time to make parineg and tell your partner your request like if you would like to have a stationary product so that could be anything stationary it could be fountain pen inks um notebooks etc um that you'd wish your partner would gift to you this coming valentine's day what would that be Go first. Go first. Um, I don't know. Um, you want to do tiers of budget? No, it's okay. I mean, naman, I just, maybe, oops. I, I want to I wanna say a notebook. Pero hindi naman ako. I don't want to use the notebooks that you get, that I get. Rin. But, I don't know. I don't know. Parang I, so far, I still have enough of everything that I, That's true. He kind of stopped. I stock up, eh. Hoard, I kind of hoard, eh. So, the, parang now, I can't think of anything talaga that I super... Maybe paper. But I don't know if that's counted because that's not really stationary. Watercolor, paper. Watercolor, paper. Watercolor notebook. That sort of thing. Because he really does buy by bulk because how many paintings do you do give or take in, on average in a month? A lot. And I, I'd advise against watercolor notebooks because they're really improperly sized. Paper kasi has sizing. Okay, what's Meaning sizing? sizing. Sizing is not the size of the paper. Sizing is the, let's say, Lamin. let's say with, uh, no, let's say with canvas kasi. With canvas, there's a gesso on top of it. So when you paint on it, it doesn't absorb into the canvas. It's the same thing with paper. There's a kind of gesso that's internal to the paper. All paper, all paper is sizing. With watercolor paper, it needs more sizing and more even sizing. With notebooks kasi, and especially watercolor notebooks, you don't know kasi how long those notebooks have been hanging out there. Have been hanging out in the store, have been ano. Usually they're not new eh. And paper kasi goes stale. The size it goes stale because they're made of animal products. Mm-hmm. Yun. So any paper, any paper, even pa- even fountain pen paper, yeah. eventually one day, you'll notice it's gonna feather. One day, like in a year, two years, three years. I don't know, pero yeah. But some people like the effect. Like, I know a lot of people like the traveler's notebook. Um, what do you call it? Watercolor insert? Some people like it, but I personally don't like it mm. because it tends to, what do you call it? Buckle. Wrinkle. Buckle. Wrinkle. It buckles. Because the it... sizing is thin or barely there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So there's that. Um, so watercolor something. Yeah, watercolor paper. Okay. <laughs> Not notebook. Okay, not notebook. I apologize. What did you give me? You're the one. You're the one. You're the one. Yes. What did I guess? A yeah. pen, a fountain pen. No, I already have a fountain pen. Do you want to get me a caveco? I have you. What do you want? The bronze. The bronze. The linka usa. The bronze. I want the brass the pink, one. Because I want a no. Remember this, guys. Remember this, Ryan. Right. Held together by a wangkai, a moon man, but I think it would be look much better if had if it had a caveco, maybe a caveco pencil, or like the clutch pencil would look great to keep my pens. So yeah, yeah, just that. 
or nothing because having you around because we haven't seen each other in like two months two months Dima? siguro two months yeah so since Christmas around yeah Christmas. so he himself is a gift wow <laughs> oh my gosh sorry no one wins here <laughs> <laughs> For one, <laughs> Paulus answer about the watercolor. I like some parts, and then some parts I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't understand it. But like, I'm nodding, and I, you're, all of you are like, probably, like, oh look at Ryan, he understands it. Guys, no, I don't understand it. But I'm like, but yeah. I will study, it, Paulu. Promise, I'll study. He goes <laughs> hard know? into his artist talk, and it's, I mean, admittedly, it's a bit obtuse. Like, I, or I am obtuse. But, no, even uh, yeah. 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 It's just hard to latch on to it, especially if you're from a different paradigm of thinking and knowing about things. So yeah, guys, he knows the stuff. No, I, I, but I don't know the stuff that he talks about as easily as he does. Moving on. <laughs> moving on. Moving on. <laughs> okay, moving on. So now we're gonna talk of, we're gonna do fast talk. So this is the first time we're gonna do this. Um, it's not really Nubra have I ever, but it's really more about pointing who, who is um, what's the proper term for this? Who is most likely to commit this um, action? Not really a mistake, but yeah. it's really more of like you know, it's just a thing um, that people do. Okay, so <laughs> this is the part where it's like laglaga. So just just be honest with your answer. Um, it's interesting if we find that there are differences. It's also interesting that we find if there are similarities with the answer. Okay, and then we'll hack that. Okay, so first question. Who spends more money on stationaries? Me! Me. Jika, Jika spends more money. By, by far. Yeah, by far. But the difference is that when Paul who spends his, for his stationary and dispense, he really thinks about it. He really, like, he's not afraid to drop the big ones, the big money yeah. for the great pen or for the great product. It's the same way that he invests in his art materials. I, on the other hand, I take time. Like, he can pay in one go. I tend to, like, think for a month or so. And then, like, I'll pay in installments. Yeah. No, I think I said the difference is you are always looking parang ganon. Ah, there's also that. Oh, I, I, I have money. I save money. And then when I have enough money, that's when I start looking. Para, I, it's the opposite. It's the opposite paradigm. That's true. But yeah, I spend more money just in terms of consistent spending. Okay. So we'll find out in three years' time if that will still be the same answer. Oh, God. <laughs> Next question. Who talks um, more about fountain pens? Who tends to talk more a lot about fountain pens and stationaries? Uh, I think that's equal. It's equal. It's equal. That's true. It enters pretty much everyday conversation. Yeah, but yeah. the focus is different. Like when I talk about pens and stationery, it's referring to journaling. When he talks about it, it's referring to his art. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Nice. Next one. More fast. More talk. <laughs> Who has more fountain pens? <laughs> Jika has more fountain pens. I only have a handful. Yeah. But if you take out my custom Urushi Vermilion, we're quits. That's just, yeah, right? Yeah, I have yeah. a handful. By one. Yeah, because his handful is quite pricey compared with my handful. Yeah. Okay. Who has more ink bottles? I think I have more ink bottles. But they're the same ink. Yeah, but they're, <laughs> but more, but the two or three of the same. Only yeah. because I, I don't know, I afford. Yeah, and he's he's he finishes bottles of ink, unlike me. I haven't. Yeah, I think I've only finished. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. You do. So there's that. Yeah, and he uses it for his art. So yeah. of course, when he found his um, the inks that he like to use for his art, it's so I'm assuming you have a lot of other or extra platinum. Yeah, that's bottles. all. Most of my inks are all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All it's all platinum. Especially the blue. I've gone through the blue, so the blue, super damn. I've yeah. gone through that a lot. And then when there was red, the red carbon ink's kind of difficult, right, to find here. Uh, yeah. 
Right. But it's hard. It's not so difficult. You can ano naman eh. You can Palenque. ay lazat ng lazat. I did it lang in lazat. Ah, okay. But it's not inscribed. No, wala, wala inscribed. Got it. Lazat. <laughs> okay. Last question. Who usually borrows the other's stationaries? Jika. Jika always borrows my own. I never borrow anything of Jika. Oh, that's true. I steal his pens. I steal. It's not even borrowing. I just take it. <laughs> I don't like Jika's preference. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I don't like Jika's preferences. Okay. Eh. Jika's super type. So what don't you like about my ano? Uh, it's still different taste. Okay. Safe different answer. Taste. Showbiz. Okay. That's it. Yeah, I, I steal his stuff. The end. Okay. That's nice. Um, <laughs> Probably. Well, this is not really fast, fast talk anymore. But if... um. My last question for you guys is like to sum up everything which we've talked about. <laughs> everything we've talked about. If you were to put a metaphor to your partner. Wow. There's another metaphor. Everyone's like, why are you guys it. so metaphors? And because earlier you were just talking about you were talking about things that you have um, but if you're going to put a put a metaphor for your partner's growth or that relationship you know moving forward like what fountain pen ink would best encapsulate the kind of future that you guys perceive well can we like change up the option for metaphor like can it be fountain pen related yeah sure okay okay, okay. Metaphor, fountain pen, growth of our relationship. <laughs> I don't know. I call painful. You, you first. Painful. Go ahead. Um, um, pen case. Go with pen case right now. It's the first thing that I saw. It's the first thing that I saw. And how would you call it? The, the pen case cannot contain my ever-expanding collection. Wow. Uh, in the same way that the pen case <laughs> cannot, encapsulate. cannot contain, encapsulate our ever-expanding relationship, knowledge of each other, experiences, um, learnings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the good, the bad, the ugly. Wow. <laughs> My pimples. Ganun. <laughs> it's still there. Like, I know it's really... Like when I got my first pen case, Shibuy, holla, holla. Okay. I know that when I got my first pen case, I'd say na I'd stick with just fitting, like adjusting my collection to fit that case. But the thing is, there are things that you really can't control and there are things that you really don't expect. But they bring you joy. And those are, well, my pens. And in the same way, this relationship cry now. You know how much I What? What else? But yeah, I agree. I <laughs> agree. And siguro, I don't I don't know how you answered that. I'm confused. As a metaphor for growing in our relationship. I'm moving forward. Yeah. Um Apple. <laughs> I don't know how to answer. Let me think. Do you like my answer though? I did. Yeah. I like your answer. Do I win? Everyone likes your answer. Tap out. Tap out. Tap out. Tap out. Yeah, tap, I tap out. I have the same. <laughs> there you have it. Conjugal answer. <laughs> All right. So, G. Paulu, thank you so much for like sharing. Uh, for sharing your relationship to us. Being vulnerable in this episode. Um. It's actually very entertaining to hear couples talk about their journey and experience with fountain pens, fountain pen inks, and stationaries. And uh, one of the things I did realize, like an insight from hearing your answers, is that stationaries do enrich our relationships. They add more flavor, meaning to our relationships. Um, they're not necessarily like pets. They're not necessarily like children. But they're pretty much like I don't know prized possessions, which um, are part of our journey in this in our relationship. So beautiful. Yeah. 
Thanks for ha- for coming over, B. Yeah. Next time, ulit. <laughs> not <laughs> not in a long time. This is very very a shy moment. But yeah, thanks also Ryan for yeah putting me like making it's weird. I, I being a guest is weird. I I'm excited to not so be a like guest a guest anymore. Guest yeah, it's suddenly like I'm a guest in the own show, and like I can't wait to get back to hosting with. <laughs> <laughs> the meeting of the personal and the somewhat professional is kind of weird. But yeah, I totally mm-hmm. understand how this can be helpful or this can be enlightening about like one other aspect that we can bond over pens and oh, stationery. Like, oh. okay. Yes, our our short attention. Sorry. The episode is closing point. So yeah. Uh, do you have anything? Oh, you can totally promote your page. Go. Uh, I'm shy. I don't know how to promote. I don't know how to promote it. Follow uh, my account, my my IG account. It's called An Imitation of Life. And period. And that imitation of life. Yeah. So that's where all of his paintings are posted. Um, there are a few pictures of me, but mostly they're paintings of me. <laughs> yeah, they're not. Paintings. Yeah, there are lots of paintings of me. But yeah, um, he also sells his works, guys. So you can just DM him and... Um, yeah, I also do commissions. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Fund our dates. Thank you. Thank you. So, once again, that's been an episode of Pen. Oops. I'm Yay. Ryan. And I'm Chica. And Paulu. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I heard so